This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. David, we appreciate you making some time for us this morning. I think a lot of people know. How, how did this get started where you got involved with this project? So uh, I made a bunch of films for ESPN in the past, and I was uh, researching stories about Arkansas football. And, of course, when you research Arkansas football, Brandon Burlesworth's story is one of the biggest, you know, sort of first ones that comes up. And, you know, everybody knows sort of at least some of the basics and at least that he passed away tragically. And digging into the details, you realize it's much bigger than his life. Uh, the impact he had on his teammates, uh, the impact his brother and um, uh, his brother Marty and Marty's wife have had um, since his death, you know, made a story that I think transcends football. Um, and, uh, you know, I brought that idea back to ESPN for a true character, and they said, let's do it. Well, I think people, again, are really excited that didn't get a chance to watch in Harrison last night to get a chance to to watch it tonight. What, what stood out amongst you learning about his life and this 98 team? What stood out in this project, David? So he, you know, had this dogged determination, um, something that, you know, you don't, you know, a lot of athletes are determined, but, you know, his was sort of this dogged determination that, you know, nobody could tell him no. Um, he brushed off any of the sort of negatives to continue to move forward. Um, and then, you know, his connection to Clint, Clint Sterner, his teammate, um, and, you know, this moment in the 98 game when they got tripped up um, and that fumble happened um, made me realize it was sort of this window into their story, right? Um, you know, we know that in life, um, in sports, sometimes things can happen in the blink of an eye or in a few seconds that can change your life forever. Um, and this was a moment that, you know, changed, you know, Clint's life. Brandon's lives, the teammates' lives, obviously uh, Arkansas fans and, and school sort of forever. I mean, we're talking about it, you know, 20 plus years later. Um, so for me, digging into that and unwrapping that and all of its connections to the team and everyone was a really great entry point into the story. As you went through talking to Clint Sterner and talking to Houston Nutt and, and the others that were central figures to the stories, are there any interesting backstories as you conducted those interviews? Any Anything behind the scenes you can share that would you know, maybe, may, maybe make the viewing more, more interesting. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, Clint himself was a, an amazing high school athlete. I mean, you know, they were sort of polar opposites to, to Brandon, right? Brandon wasn't, you know, heavily recruited, small town. Um, you know, nobody thought he could play D1, certainly not Arkansas, even though that's sort of everybody's dream. Clint was sort of the opposite. Um, you know, also grew up in small town, Texas, but was, sort of star two sport athlete could kind of go wherever he wanted um, came to Arkansas and absolutely fell in love with it. And so you kind of have these two mixed characters who kind of come together um, into this film. And I think that, you know, the idea is that anybody can kind of watch this film and relate their sort of own personal stories in life to both of them. Um, you know, Brandon's, uh, you know, uh, Marty as an older brother um, looking out for Brandon, who uh, ultimately then passed away and, and had to carry on his legacy. You know, Clint had a brother who was competitive and, and forced him to be competitive in life um, with sports. And then, you know, Clint's brother ended up passing away. Um, and Clint sort of, you know, became the rock of his family. Um, and I think that's a really interesting juxtaposition between the both of them and this, you know, strange coincidence between the two of them and their lives. Yeah. Um, Houston, you know, uh, is an amazing guy, and you know I don't know how much everybody knows about his past as sort of being a ball boy um, at Arkansas, and uh, you know going through other coaching schools in the ranks, and then being able to come back to Arkansas um, and lead the team is a pretty cool full circle moment for both of them. And I think you know everybody um, in the film, you know, had uh, speaks to a lot of the integrity that it takes to be a college D1 athlete. And, you know, all of their personal stories um, kind of come out. You know, his other teammates in the film, um, Anthony Lucas. Um, uh, yeah, it was um, it was pretty profound. Yeah. How, how did you um, get the feel in the edit and as you're putting the story together of, of balancing Brandon's story and then the story of the 98 team? Because really you could do a documentary on both. Uh, obviously, movies have been made about Brandon and his life and his story. So, how did, how did you balance that throughout, you know, when, when you get down and you 
you, you've got an hour to put it together, yeah. and it's less than that when you yeah. make time for work. How, how did you balance those? Because they're two great themes th- throughout your documentary, I'm sure. Yeah, so so the first off is, you know, Marty sort of became one of our sort of de facto voices. Um, he sort of is the, the vo- and then I say Marty, um, uh, Brandon's older brother, right. uh, Marty Burlesworth. And he himself was sort of a documentarian. So he, you know, we came to his house in, um, in Arkansas. He opened up his closet and he has shelves full of videotapes, uh, Super 8 reels, photographs. Um, he was a photographer, but from the time Brandon was born, he'd been documenting everything. And so, you know, you have a character who's passed away. We can't interview him or, or incorporate any of that. And yet Marty had all of these archives that allowed us to kind of tell Brandon's story and give him a voice. And at the same time, Marty was also an on-field reporter um, during a Brandon stint at Arkansas. So he had gotten a press pass to be able to follow the team. So amazingly, you know, you, you oftentimes when you see these films, you've got obviously the broadcast cameras and, and a lot of the um, um, bigger budget production cameras that are showing you material and you kind of have to see it from their perspective. In this case, we had Marty's cameras, sometimes on the sidelines, sometimes behind the scenes in locker rooms, able to kind of bring us into that world. So while we were able to use Marty to give Brandon a voice and tell his story, Marty's cameras also allowed us to capture the team and explore everything we could about the team leading up into 98 and leading up into that 98 season. Again, David. Um, and so I think, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to finish your thought. No, that was it. And so, and so being able to balance the two, it kind of, it kind of worked together because, you know, you could use Marty's voice to show us who Brandon was while at the same time we're meeting all of his teammates, seeing everything behind the scenes. So it really worked as this, it, able, it allowed us to condense a lot of, like you said, the story into a short amount of time so we can get the best of both. David, again, before we uh, let you go, anything else that needs to be shared before tonight at 8 o'clock? Again, your film on the SEC Network. I know people are excited about it. Any last uh, things you want to get in here with us across our airwaves this morning? Yeah. yeah, one last thought. You know, it's very easy for everyone to talk about the turnover and the fumble because that's what everybody remembers and the heartache of that game. But what's incredible was, you know, Brandon's death it immediately impacted the team. And the following year, they came back and got revenge against Tennessee. I really want people to be able to see how they came back and see how powerful that game was in 98 and what they did a year later. And hopefully the image of, of that team winning in 98 also creates an impact on people. And they remember that as well. Because Clint's an amazing person, amazing athlete, You know, bore the brunt of everything on his shoulders. And you know, when it came time to produce a year later he did with all the pressure on him bet online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season everything from the nfl and bowl season to esports you'll find the latest odds team matchup info player news and game trends at bet online bet online features live betting free contest and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable we're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.